Hello everyone. Wow. This is yet another great opportunity that you have given me because without you I would not be doing this. Today I want to talk about a subject, a subject that is rarely talked about, yet it is one of the values that we treasure in the Samshi group of company. To be honest, this value was coined by my daughter who works with me. It is really probably never written about in business books. But we have discovered that is such a key value that as entrepreneurs we cannot ignore it. This value that I'm talking about it's care and concern. Why do I say so? One of the greatest resources that you have as an entrepreneur is the human resource. And as I've said before, human resource is one of the most difficult and challenging resource that you have to deal with as an entrepreneur. Why is it difficult and complicated? Because human beings are not machines. Human beings have feelings. Human beings have emotions. And so you ignore that aspect of the human being at your own disadvantage. It is important you put it into consideration even as you work towards achieving your vision and more so increasing your profitability and your productivity. So what does care and concern mean? That you need to be concerned about people. You need to go out of the way to find out what is governing the reactions that perhaps you find in your workplace. The significance of this is you can never write it down in a contract, but it's something that comes from the bottom of your heart. What honesty will make that my worker call me at 3 a.m. in the morning and tell me that their grandmother is unwell and I need to help them to take the grandmother to hospital. To be honest, I'll pick that call and I will do my level best to ensure that that grandmother is taken care of. The grandmother doesn't work for me, but the fact that it affects that stuff that works for me is the reason why I'll go out of the way to try and solve that problem. Oftentimes, I deal with such issues. As we talk about this, to go back to a work environment, one of the major reasons that actually made us coin this word, and when I say we, it started with my family, and we were wondering, yes, we are owners of the businesses, but then, we asked ourselves, we may say that we care and truly we want to care, but what about those who work for us? Do they have a place of caring or would we expect them to care? Yes, the one level of care and which is really talked about, and I want to challenge people working out there. Do you take care? and feel concerned about the owner of the business? Is there a place of being human as you relate to those people that are above you? Because many times, <laughs> and this is interesting, people think that bosses don't have feelings. But let me tell you, they do have feelings. When you appreciate, for example, in the many years that I have employed, it's only one person that has ever come back to me when she has got her salary and told me, 
thank you, madam, for your paycheck. And the first time I had it, oh my God, it was something that was like out of this world. The same way, I will also come at your desk and tell you, well done. That's a good job. What am I trying to say in this conversation? That care and concern is a two-way process. You care for somebody and in return, more often than not, that person will care for you in return. And when we create an environment where we care for each other, what happens is, we are happier and we enjoy working in that environment. Because at the back of your might, or at the back of my might, I am settled because I know in the unlikely event that there will be this huge something which is actually out of the way, I know there are people or there is a person I can turn to. Do you know how confident I would feel if I know if there is something that calls for somebody to go out of the way to solve a certain problem, even when it is outside the line of duty, I know I can count on that person. That is what care and concern is all about. And I hope by now, you notice and you recognize that I use the word taking a moral position and I talk about it quite many times because I sincerely believe that certain things we do is not about the laws and the regulations. It's beyond there. By not caring, you perhaps are not breaking any law. You perhaps are not breaking any regulation. And so, when all is said and done, you are still light. But are you truly light? I do believe that if the society, if individuals would start taking moral positions on certain matters, I think we will have a better society. Over time, I have realized that the more you care about people, the more they work for you. The more you care about the person you work for, the more you are able to grow in your career. And so for me, I do believe that there is a place for care and concern, not only in the work environment, not only in the entrepreneurship world, but also in our community, in our society, in our governments, in all the institutions. Let me tell you, I am where I am because people have cared, not only for me, but for my businesses. While it not so, I cannot even begin to want to understand where as a company we would be. This is what I want to tell you. It has worked for me, and I believe it can work for you too. Thank you.